don't have any clients in your chair to record content on, my friends? Try this simple and effective strategy. Today, I'm going to cover number one, ideas and suggestions on how to record content around the salon. Number two, how to highlight your favorite products. And number three, how, when, and why setting aside time for this in your schedule is important. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Number one, when you have downtime at the salon, and of course, you've already gone to the bathroom and had your lunch, you should be recording content around the salon. Take advantage of even five to 10 minute breaks throughout your day. Go by the front door of the salon, walk around the salon and hit record, ask someone else there to record you doing something on your dining phone. More of that in just a moment, my friends. Get creative and use the salon space that you have to create content. Number two, how to highlight products. Here's what I would suggest when you're highlighting a specific product or service that you're trying to market online. Say three to five things, three to five things you love about the product. Here's an example. Pretend I'm holding my favorite root lifting spray that I actually sell to all my clients and use on all my clients. I would say something like this. What I love about this Kenra root lifting spray is it gives lift to all hair types. It makes the hair shiny and you can use it to create a wet look for your hair, which is super on trend right now. That's it. You can keep it simple and to the point. You hold up the product and you talk about the benefits of it, or you actually use the product on your hair and talk about the benefits of that specific product. So when you hit record, just start with the benefits of the amazing product that you're trying to sell. Why do we want to do that, my friends? Well, let me tell you. People don't want to sit and watch you go on and on and on in your video. Keep it short and to the point, my friends. So get right to the point. Be specific. You can get more creative with the benefits about the product in the caption when you're sharing the post or in the editing part of the video itself. The videos that get the most views online are interesting, helpful, and short. You don't have to leave with, Hi everyone, it's Gina here. Today I'm gonna talk about, that's boring my friends. Make it a habit to record at least three to four videos a week of your favorite product or your favorite service when you're at the salon and you have some downtime. Or hey, show up a few minutes early or stay a few minutes late to record the content. Now the same thing goes about your favorite pro uh, favorite service that you sell. So here's an example of keratin treatments. It's one of my favorite services that I offer and all my clients get it and all of them love it. So what I would say is, what I love about keratin treatments are, it makes the hair super shiny, it reduces frizz, and it softens your look, especially if you have gray and or unruly hair. Simple and to the point, three to five benefits of the product or the service that you're referencing in the video. Simple and to the point. And the good thing is, my friends, it makes recording so much easier and less stressful. Now, Let's say you don't have any clients in your chair and you can't find any good pictures of your work on your phone, but you want to record some content. Hmm, hmm, what's a stylist to do? Here's 10 unique ideas that are very popular right now online. I want you to snag these ideas and use them for your own business. Number one, you're going to film a hair tutorial of yourself. You're the trained professional. Show others online how you curl your hair, how you put a wig on how you smooth out your bangs, how you pin it half up, how you do a poof ponytail. Number two, set up your station for the day. People love that behind the scenes. Our clients don't ever see that because we're usually prepared and organized before they get there. Number three, clean up the salon at the end of the day. Now, typically we clean up before our clients get there. So we're prepared. It looks good. It's clean for the most part. Let them see what it looks like. What a total mess it is at the end of the day. Go around, take your phone and record all the parts, the color room that's a mess, the hair all over the floor, the towels everywhere. Because we all know that that's how it looks at the end of a busy work day. Number four, fold the towels. This sounds simple. It might sound silly to you, but it's very popular online right now. Why not grab the trending ideas? Literally set your phone up, hit record and fold the towels that you're folding at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, or in the middle of the day. Number five, share how you use your favorite product. How do you use the root lifting spray? How do you use the serum? 
How do you use the heat protectant? How do you use the hairspray? Create a carousel of your favorite styles. Like maybe it's beachy waves on a whole bunch of different clients. And you're going to talk about how to do that or what product you use or what size curling iron or what the hair should be prepped like to achieve that kind of a look. Number seven, create a carousel from many clients on one type of service. You do pink vivid hair and you have six clients over the last two months that you did it on. Put that content on a reel. Number eight, record a video of you mixing color. Friends, we are mad scientists in our brain when we're recording, uh, sorry, when we're mixing up color formulas. Our clients don't know that. They just know we come out from the back room with all these bowls and make their hair look beautiful. Set your phone up, hit record, and put all the, the color and the developer and all that good stuff in the bowls, mix it up, and record that. You can share that online. Number nine, share what you do on your day off. Do you like to go running every morning? Do you go out to eat? Do you go to festivals in the neighborhood? Do you like to work out? Do you meal prep? What kind of shows do you watch? Are you in a book club? Show what you do when you're not at work. People love that stuff, my friends. Number 10, answer FAQs from your clients. What I like to do when I'm recording content, um, like videos, hair tutorials, I think about what my clients ask me. These are the type of videos that I record because my clients ask me. How do I do a top knot, Gina? I want it really full. How do I get those beachy waves, Gina? I can never get them to look the way you do them on my hair. How do I create lift in the top of my hair? These things that my clients ask me about, I record content about. So you might be asking yourself, Gina, why should I record myself setting up the station, my station at the salon? That seems so silly and boring to me. My friends, people love behind the scenes, I promise. Think about it. Do you ever go online and watch a painter paint a whole, a whole like painting and when they fast forward the video, so it's like a blank canvas, they paint the, the painting, which might take them hours, and then you see the end result, but the painter edited the video, so it's a 20 second video. I love seeing that dramatic before, during, and after. Or think about like an interior designer. You see the, uh, the way the room is before they get their hands on it and after and the during process, they set their phone up, they record it, and you can see a little behind the scenes of how they made this room so beautiful. See, we all love it. Number three, how, when, and why should we even do all of this? Okay, I'm going to say something, give you a little tough love, my friends. It's our responsibility to market our amazingness online. If you're not getting sales, my first question would be, how much time are you spending to promote your amazing work? These strategies can take five to 10 minutes a day, my friends. So you just need to add this task to your schedule and prepare in advance. For example, if you look at your books the night before and you see that you have an hour gap in your day, prepare in advance. That could look like going to get some content posting ideas online and make a note of it so you're prepared about what you're going to record the next day. That could look like setting aside a few outfit changes so you can bring them with the salon next day and change your outfit three times, record a little bit of content so when you post online, it looks like it's on a different day. That could look like writing content or just making a few notes of your favorite products, like three to five bullet points of what the benefits are so you know exactly what you're going to be recording the next day. That could look like literally writing your schedule, record content. So Jennifer is at 9 a.m., Tiffany is at 11 a.m., record content is at 1 p.m., and John is on my books at 2 p.m. The more prepared you can get in advance, it's the more likely it is that you'll get this important stuff done. Are you going to try this, my friend, this week? I really want you to try it. I know it's going to help you out. Keep the momentum and the creativity going and flowing when you have a little bit of break in your day. I know it's going to help you out. And I really hope you try one of these or all of these strategies out.